everybody. I hope this video finds you doing well. And if you're currently not a subscriber to the Big Country channel, uh, I will sure be glad if you did. Um, the videos I got are mainly some reviews, some helpful videos, and things of that nature. Uh, but this week, what I wanted to do is it is beginning of the year. It's my first video of this year, 2013. And uh, like most uh, people, I want to start with the good year right. And uh, if you attend church services like I do, most churches usually start with a fast at the beginning of the year. And it just kind of propels you to the new year. It gets your outlook right, your mindset. Uh, but I didn't see any videos on there on YouTube that really showed you how to do a Daniel fast. Uh, the 21 day fast uh, according to uh, Daniel chapter 10 verses 2 and 3. And I'll go ahead and read those scriptures to you so we kind of get an idea and direction of why we do the Daniel fast and, and where it comes from. It says in Daniel 10, 2, and 3, it says, In those days I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. I ate no pleasant food, no meat or wine, came into my mouth, nor did I anoint myself at all till three whole weeks were fulfilled. And, of course, on the other end of that fast, uh, we see the, the answer to Daniel's prayer. So uh, that would be a good chat for you to go back and read just so you can kind of read up on it if you're looking at doing the Daniel fast. So we do say it is three weeks seven days uh, 21 days and uh, to give you an idea of what uh, to eat and what not to eat uh, one of the things about this fast it's not really hard to fast the one thing you really want to do when you do fast is make sure you pray okay it's not just a fast and, and you just kind of go throughout your day but you want to make sure that you spend some time in prayer uh, spend some time reading the bible uh, meditating on god's word a lot of times we have so much to say uh, but we don't sit still long enough to meditate and allow God to speak back into our hearts, okay? So take time to do that. Allow God to put back into you and let him speak to your heart. Uh, but the Daniel fast is, is really a simple fast. It is 21 days, uh, uh, drinking water, things of that nature. You eat any kind of fruits, uh, whether it be frozen, uh, fresh fruits, dry, juiced, anything like that, uh, you can do those. If you like grapefruit, if you like figs, cherries, cantaloupe, uh, these are all things that you can eat. All vegetables are good. Um, fresh, frozen, dried, all the same type deal. Uh, if you like collard greens, if you're from the south, you like collard greens. If you like uh, cauliflower, garlic, uh, celery, uh, maybe you're a juicer like I am, you like the juice. Hey, that's right down your alley because you can mix the vegetables and the fruits together and do some juicing, so that's going to be good for you. And so, uh, you know, maybe you like veggie burgers, okay, there's no meat involved there. Uh, maybe, you, uh, you know, we had a, um, just last night, uh, my family, we had a, uh, what they call a rustic vegetable soup, which is just all vegetables, and it was really good stuff. So, uh, that's another thing. All whole grains are good for you. Uh, you can eat kind of whole grains, uh, whole grain tortillas, if you like those, uh, rice cakes, popcorn, uh, things like that, grits, barley, uh, things of like that nature you can eat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, all nuts and seeds, okay, uh, are good for you if you like snacking throughout the day, like I do. Nuts, I like nuts, sunflower seeds, those are good for you. Any kind of bean, okay, if you like, you know, say do some bean chili without the meat, hey, go for it. That's good for you, especially one of these cold months. Hey, that's the way to go. Uh, beverages, you want to mind, mainly stick to water, you know, uh, water being the main thing there. Uh, any kind of spring water, distilled water, any kind of water is good. Tap water for that matter. And um, other things you can look at doing too, uh, if you are a person that likes uh, tofu, okay, that's one for you. Any kind of soy products are good. Uh, vinegar, seasoning, salts, pepper, so you can spice it as much as you want to spice it up. Okay, so that, that's some good things for you there. But looking on the other side of that, some things you really want to stay away from as far as you know, if you really want to stay with the uh, Daniel fast in, in that matter, uh, things you want to stay away from, of course, all meat, any kind of meat, whether it's, you know, fish, steaks, cow, pork, it don't matter. Any kind of meat you want to stay away from, okay? Stay away from any kind of meat products, uh, dairy products, milk, cheeses, butter, stuff like that. You want to stay away from those things during this fast. Uh, sweeteners, you want to stay from all kinds of sweeteners. Uh, I know the other day I got ready to pour a cup of coffee, had my sweetener in there, and realized, hey, it's not part of the deal. So you want to stay away from that. Uh, all leavened breads, okay, you want to stay away from breads, and even including even the Ezekiel bread, okay, any kind of leavened bread, you want to stay away from that. 
all refined and processed foods. You want to stay away from those things. Uh, anything with any kind of chemicals. Uh, how about uh, white rice, okay, white flour, stuff like that's refined stuff. Uh, you don't want to deal with that. Stay away from that. Uh, deep fried foods, and if you're in the South and anywhere else, y'all like to eat things fried, don't you? Bacon, everything else in it. You gotta stay away from all the deep fried stuff. Uh, all solid flats include all solid fats, okay, including shortening stuff like that. Stay away from those things. And of course, stay away from the coffee and all that coffee and teas and all that stuff. Stuff that I really like. Uh, I love sweet tea, okay. So this is really killing me right here. But stay away from all those things, okay. But these are just some things that you want to stay away from. Uh, but on the brighter side of that, you're not really staying away from anything because your relationship with God is growing. You're taking time to fast and to pray, okay? And uh, it really helps you to center in and to focus on what's important and getting your your your, your year started out right. And, um, and my, fam my whole family is involved in this. I've got three kids. Uh, they're all involved in it also. But one thing about it with anything is about your attitude. Okay, make sure you have the right attitude going into this and the reasons why you're doing it, okay, and that you, you know, you want to have a prophet's new year, but also uh, you want to be a spiritual leader, okay. Uh, Brian Tracy, he makes a comment talking about attitude, and I'll leave you with this. It says, develop an attitude of gratitude, okay, and give thanks for everything that happens to you, knowing that every step forward is a step toward achieving something bigger and better than your current situation. So I just ask for blessings for you in this new year and that, uh, you know, you have the right attitude. And whatever happens to you this year, remember that, you know, God is for you. And, uh, and take it with gratitude that God has something in store for you. Okay? This is Big Country signing off, and God bless.